So welcome, what's up everybody? Today we're gonna be changing an alternator. Reason for this is, can't see, can't see me. Oh, uh, lately I've been getting the, the light for uh, the battery light in my dash and the dash hasn't been working and we're gonna be doing it on this. You see it? Oh yeah, Silverado. So the good thing is, Alternator is just up here, so it shouldn't be too bad to replace it. I'm gonna replace this, uh, the belt, and also replace the AC belt while we're at it because it's all the way down at the bottom. Let's see if it does the same right now. So let's go inside here. Let me see. Give me a second. Oh, dude. So yeah, give me one second. I unplug the battery get to that in a bit I unplugged the battery now I can't open the car here I'll be right back okay so we got the car started already well not started but uh, I got the car unlocked all right here we go I'll show you what the problem is before I do anything else I got ahead of myself in a little while ago because I was gonna record and I left my camera inside but now we got it Let's see if it actually does it this time. Cause what it what would happen is uh the gauges, none of the gauges would light up, and right up here would have a battery light, and right here it would say battery not charging. But let's see if it does it this time. Okay, you see the battery put it there? You turn off the AC. Let's see if it does it right now. Well gauges are working so far. See if it does it right now. Oh yeah, there you go. See, battery not charging, and then the light would come on. There you go. Actually, let's see if it actually charging. I actually got to see. I actually wanted to see with my meter. Now that it's happening, actually test the uh, this. Let's see, I'll put it right here. If it, if it actually pulling voltage on the alternator. Okay. So I'm gonna put these two on the battery. Negative black, positive on the other one. So right now it's reading 12.4. So when you turn it on, it this usually reads around 14. Let me go straight to the actual alternator so this, what I've noticed that it only does it while it's charged while it's cold it's like if I haven't turned it on for a while Let's see if it's see, once it gets warm then it doesn't want to do it anymore so we'll see right now I'm gonna plug it straight into the alternator there you go 12 port so let me show you how I'm doing it. Right here, I'm putting it to the main connector in the back. And also the engine grounding the other prong. And that's what it's putting now. And it does, it's also, it should be 14 like I said. So my suspicion is it's, it's the, the alternator. It's already going bad because right now it's not charging. So it's setting off on the dash. Uh, it's not charging. So let me turn this off and then we'll go through it. Okay, I'm back. Let me just show you what I'm gonna use to do this job. Okay. Bring it over. Alright. So like I said earlier, we're gonna change this alternator. So first, oh here let me just show you what we're, we're gonna use. So I got a new belt. I don't know if you guys wanna know the part that one and then the AC belt which is the smaller belt got a new one might as well do all that while you're in there and then I got the new the new alternator well this is not a new alternator it's a remanufactured alternator so here it is there you go so it's all remanufactured I got this one at, at the auto zone and uh, let me see what else uh, so we got two belts the alternator oh yeah this is gonna be the the higher output alternator the amperage alternator I got that one because um 
I'm gonna uh, I'm running the amp on there, so I, I just thought why why not run the one with the most highest output alternator while you're at it. I'm replacing it anyway, so I might as well get the higher output alternator on it. And uh, I think that's about it. Oh yeah, because I run the higher al alternator, like the output alternator. I had to get a the guy told me it was a longer hose, not a longer hose, a longer belt. So first thing we're gonna do disconnect your battery because it's connected over here to straight battery this one connect this one charges the, the battery and here's our alternator and that's it so we're disconnecting the battery every time you're gonna work on the car disconnect the battery but we're disconnected there and you, you might want to unlock your car if you got um, power locks on it because I just disconnected it and, and uh, I had to reconnect it back because I forgot to open the car. Okay, next step, I'm gonna remove this cover because I want to remove this guy, the filter, uh, the the air intake, whatever you want to call that. Well, the intake port, not the port, it's not the port. The intake, well, you don't want to talk about it. Just the intake, I'm just gonna say intake. So I gotta remove this guy, the little hose here. Gotta remove this guy, so I'm just gonna remove this cover real quick. Maybe it'll make it easier. So get this one with the A, and get it off here. Okay. So we don't need that. Well, we do need it, but not now. So it doesn't want to come out. Okay. So there's that. Move that out of the way. Then I gotta remove this guy. Cause I need to get to the tensioner. That's the reason I'm I'm removing this guy. This hose clamp style for the intake. And I'm just gonna move it to get it out of the way to give me more space. Come on. Hopefully this is all I have to take off. Hopefully it gives me room. Or else I'm gonna have to take this guy off and then this, the the filter area, and I don't wanna do all that, but let me come back and I'll show you what I've done. Also a good rule of thumb is uh, maybe take out the part that you're gonna change, match it up, try to match it up, and see if they're identical. So this one has a, a, three, P, a three wire. Um, Here's like the, I believe these are like signals to start the alternator to charge. And then this guy right here. So just match them up, make sure they look the same. See, I do got that one. Then I got the back one. And it looks like it has the, the two mounting holes down here, just like this guy's the two mounting holes here. You just wanna check that before you take anything off because once you take it off, and it doesn't work, then that sucks. Because now you have to either put it back on, put it back on, or go back to the parts store. So, another tip before taking off anything else, like the belt, make sure your car has these little diagrams. This one's kind of faded, but as you can see, let me see. They're kind of faded on here, but you can see them. I don't think you can see them on. It shows you the the routing of the belt sometimes these cars don't have this or they coming off because if you try to put that belt back on without that routing uh, or drying it out if your car doesn't have that dry it out because it will take you a long time to figure it out even with that drying sometimes I have trouble installing it back but like this one already has it so I don't have to try I don't have to like put it back on Easy. I don't have to dry it out, but if it didn't, I would totally recommend to to do that. You could obviously look it up online, but let's say you don't have a phone or anything to look it up online. You will be here spending a lot of time trying to figure out where, where's the routing for this thing. So, let me get... I don't have a little stool, so I'm a little short, so I'm going to get this. Oh, here. Here's the tensioner. So, this is the tensioner to hold the... 
the belt on so once I get the tensioner off then I can take this belt off and then the AC belt I don't know if you can see it you see that's the AC that's the AC tensioner right there so that that's after that but first you have to take the the large belt and then the AC belt and then put the AC belt in the large belt and then obviously you're gonna replace the alternator on here kind of like the way it's gonna go right now officially removed the other one I installed the new one and I'm just using the little ratcheting wrench that I have in handy I got like you guys should get some of these these are nice they're long reach and they're double and they're ratcheting why not right they're really nice they're handy so I'm gonna do that oh there goes a the paper for this fucking damn alternator all right I'm not gonna tighten it so much because I still gotta put that end in still out. So I'm just snug it in there just enough. So I might have to. Oh, I hope I didn't mess anything up here. No. Stuck now. Okay. I'll be right back. Need to remove this. So this is what I did. The alternator wouldn't not go in on this side. It has these little tabs right here. See if I can focus in here. Come on, focus. Okay, these little tabs here. You can see like these little inserts. So I hit that little insert in. And now it goes right in there. See, now it just slides in. I, I'm pretty sure when you put the, the long bolt in here, you should press it back on. See, now I gotta lift it up. Cause, oh, there, there you go, see? When I smash this guy on there, you should push it back towards the alternator. Shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> okay, so we are in done installing this. I plugged it in. I put the two bolts that hold it down to mount it down. I put the charging cable and the also the other cables to send the signal. So next step, I won't put the serpentine belt, the, the main one. I'm going to install this guy, the AC belt you put anything on there and I think we're gonna have to use this 3 8 drive for that one so I've taken off the AC belt and I'm, I'm try to measure it up with the, with the new belt see if it comes any close but I'm, I'm sure it'll be okay I'm gonna go like this you yeah they're pretty much they're technically pretty good close you, the old one must be a, like a little bit stretched, but it's because it's old. It does have like a little bit of cracking here. I don't know if you could see it, but there is some cracking evidence around the belt. I've never changed it since I've had this truck. Okay, there's a big crack right there. I don't know if you could see it. There's a big crack right there. And hope, uh, yeah. Eventually this will get more cracks as these dry the belts will dry and crack and dry rot so while I'm at it I'm putting this guy in that way that's one less thing I have to worry about now that I'm in there why not let me see the difference I actually want to see the difference between this belt and the other belt maybe it's the material 
they're two different brands, but looks like it might be the material two, three. Is it a little thicker? Yeah. Looks like that one. Yeah, I could even feel it. The the newer one is much thicker than this other one. Either maybe it's worn out or took a little bit of material, but just putting them up together, it's like yeah, it's pretty. I could feel them. I could. I don't know if that's a good measurement, but I could feel the thickness difference in it. Okay, let me just. So there you go. I got the belt on. It goes around this compressor through the main pulley, which has a small slot with three three grooves in it. And that's about it. This tensioner. I think I could move it with my hand that much. Now I gotta install the the large serpentine belt. But that one I'm gonna do it from the top. So yeah, so far so good. Done with that part. How to use a, a ratcheting wrench. Here, let me see. A little ratcheting wrench with an extension because it wouldn't fit. But that part is done down to the last part about installing the serpentine belt <clears throat> the large one actually okay so we won't need that so large serpentine belt here we come Pretty much concludes installing the alternator I got it all installed oh I'm not finished just quite yet I got one more thing there you go. battery gotta install this battery to start it double check everything's good everything's connected make sure you connected everything you removed secured everything okay battery good all right let's go over what we did real quick to do this to do the alternators like not upgrade because it was an upgrade I just needed to do it because it was a bad alternator step one check if it's bad you could also check by how did I know this it was bad the dash was saying uh, battery not charging I came over check the alternator make sure if it was charging at the alternator post I had 12 volts which, which uh, when it's running it should be around 14 I came to the battery, I also checked the voltage while it was running, it was at 12 volts, same as the alternator, so that indicates to me that the alternator wasn't working, but for me the alternator was working periodically, so at cold starts when, when I haven't been running the truck, alternator wouldn't charge and then eventually it would start working after I, I'm thinking it was warm, then it would start working. Uh, earlier today it wasn't working, it, would, it was just not working at all, when I went to the dentist, so, but after I got out of the dentist, it was functioning correctly. So it was just like a periodic on and off, on and off type thing. So, what do we do? 
So first step, disconnect the battery. Eight millimeter for the battery. Came over here. Uh, remove the cover, the engine cover, and that's eight millimeter. The this hose clamp, like it's a hose clamp for the intake tube. Remove that. I just removed this with an eight millimeter. Pull that out. I step after that. I remove the serpentine belt. It uses a fifteen millimeter, which is right. I don't know if you can see it. Right there's the tensioner right there. I use this guy double ratcheting wrench which really comes in handy because they're thin. This guy, uh, 15 millimeter. Let's see, I don't think you can see it, but it's one of these is a 15 millimeter, so I just ratcheted it. And also, after the removing the serpentine belt, make sure you have a diagram of how to install the belt back on. It, it, usually they're underneath the hood right here. Shows a little diagram which engine you have, but this is kind of faded, but so I kind of see it. You can't see it on the camera though. Maybe I'll get new ones that look good. And uh, after that, either make sure you have the diagram to put on the belt or dry it out so that way you don't forget because it will get tricky and you will spend a lot of time trying to figure out how you put this belt back on. Try to remember, You trust me, you won't remember. And after that, I took off the serpentine belt, I removed these two mounting bolts, which is one right, oh actually, before that, I, I unplugged it. I removed this uh, battery where the battery post goes for the charging for the battery, 10 millimeter. That one just a clip, just unclip it. So just those two. Then you come over here and remove the this uh, 15 millimeter bolts. The right one right there, and then the other one right over here. So there's two. After removing that, then you obviously remove the old one. Grab the new one, slap it back on here. Has these little tabs like I said earlier. It will go on for the other one, but there's the little, these little tabs right there. You might have to push those out, out or like hit them with a hammer, and then it'll slide in easy. After installing that guy, then, oh, and this one I, I did actually replace the AC belt, which is all the way down there. This is not focusing, feel good. Come on, focus. Okay, the uh, the AC bell which I replaced. That uh, yeah, that one you have to go from underneath to replace it. I showed you that in an earlier video. Um, and then install the serpentine belt. After that, put this uh, intake tube back on the cover. And then last but not least, just uh, plug this uh, battery negative post. And that was about it. I don't see anything else more. Check. All you could do is just check, make sure everything you unplug this plug back in. And grab all your tools. Don't forget any of your tools. Oh. oh. Grab any of your tools. Your. We'll, we'll be using this again right now. So, let's start it up. Oh, let me grab the batteries. So, where's the batteries? Oh, I left the batteries inside. Okay, now let's just start it up to see if it gives me that fault. Not a fault, but that battery signal sign on the dashboard. If we could like remove some of the brightness on this thing. Okay. Alright, let's give this a start. Let's see how cross our fingers. Well there's the battery sign. The dash is coming on. Come on, let's focus. Yeah. Okay, so let's give it a start. There's the battery one that was lighting up. Nothing abnormal. Those usually come on when I have it on the on position. And let's crank it up. Let's see what it says. It's over here is charging. When it wasn't charging, it was down over here at 12 volts. It has came up. 14, a little bit, probably like 14.5. There's no battery sign, so that's good. Nothing's coming out here in the by the odometer, so that's good. So I guess everything's good. But let's confirm using the the voltmeter. See what's the voltage coming out of there? 
All right, turn this guy on. Here you have it on the bolts. Grab your positive and the negative here. To me, this is the negative. Then you have a positive over here. I only got one hand. I'm holding this. There you go. Look at now it's reading 14.2 should be 14.5 so that's good this that's at the battery let's check now let's check the alternator at the alternator I'm gonna put this over here come on I only have one hand so I'm recording so give me a break guys uh, So I put it over there. Okay, I got it. I'm grounding it out and I'm right at uh, come on. DC. I accidentally pushed something else. Okay, there you go. That's at the alternator. 14.5, 14. Point five, 14 point one and 14.51 five let's just say 14.5 we'll go at the battery over here and it's 14.2 14.4 sorry so there is a little bit of drop but it is charging so that's good there's a voltage drop there so we're good so this concludes the installation How's that? Pretty nice. Well, thanks for watching. Maybe we'll get some other stuff done. I want to get the motorcycle ready. I got the calipers and uh, I rebuilt them, but I've been having trouble bleeding them. And I have had, I've been trying to bleed them. I can't bleed them. And I'm going to try one more time if it doesn't. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but it's really driving me nuts because I can't understand why it doesn't bleed. All right, peace out. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Peace. Oh yeah, and I forgot to guys tell you like and subscribe for more videos. Thanks. Peace out.